All right, I just want to give you guys some uh, some feedback. Great job. Um, uh, look forward to being able to, to coach stuff like this in the future with you all. But um, this is an account called Catalyst Athletics, a guy named Greg Everett that I've followed for a really, really long time. Uh, great uh, Olympic lifting stuff. So um, just want to go over a couple things here. So uh, when you get it in the clean or the snatch, there is a uh, pulling position with your feet, and then there is the receiving position. So um, if we look at um, where his feet are set up here, and then we go, and when he goes into his catch, you can see there is that outward movement of his feet. Um, so as we keep going here to the next one, um, these are some of the best uh, lifters in the world. But once again, you can see where his feet start and then where his feet end up. Um, so what that does is it really allows you to drop much, much faster. This guy is one of the fastest I've ever seen right here. Like We watched this live so unbelievably quick but you can see he moves his feet again uh moves those feet again so uh, that's just something that allows you to drop extremely quick there's actually a drill uh, for cleans and snatches called a no foot snatch or clean uh, where you don't move your feet um, to get used to you dropping under the bar more but ultimately when we're going for a big lift we really want to move those feet out into that receiving position really where you would overhead squat from so um, when you look at um, your guys video here i uh, got a good make here from tyler um, so if we watch this and we see where his feet start, um, hit some pretty good positions there. You notice those feet really do not move out at all. Um, and when we catch that barbell overhead, um, he gets in a good receiving position here. Um, but really, if we would move those feet out much quicker, I think he'd get under the barbell a lot faster um, and really be able to get a lot more weight uh, some other things to consider there was we got a little bit of the barbell coming out in front um, instead of kind of finishing that pull. But really, I think uh, if you can work on moving those feet. So um, when we get to the next one here, um, same thing. If we watch, look at where those feet start. And then as we get into the lift here, we can see where they, they don't move. So good setup. Pretty solid bar path there. You can see you get a little bit in your heels. Uh, we would like to have those feet more flat um, so we can continue to drive in the ground. A lot of times if you get in your heels, then everything is going to shoot forward um, when you go to try to get underneath the bar. But uh, if we watch where those feet go, those feet stay right there. And you can see there, that makes it more difficult to catch, which leaves that barbell a little bit out front. Um, when we got to receive the bar, you can see how your weight is now forward, which then the barbell goes forward. So... Uh, just my two cents, uh, just to kind of a kind of first glance, something I noticed there. Um, there's several drills we can do to work on those things. Uh, snatch balance is a great one, uh, but also something called a quick snatch or a quick clean where you kind of pull to that high pull position, pause, and then very quick drop underneath and work on moving those feet out. But uh, great job. Uh, look forward to coaching everybody more.